Hello my fellow DIYers! So it got a bit colder in Houston and I wanted to tackle an upcycle project. So today I'm turning this thrifted men's sweater into a skirt, a pair of mittens, and a beanie. Yes, one sweater, three things. So I found the sweater at Goodwill for $3.50 and I highly recommend getting a large in the men's section. Let's get to the nitty gritty of things. Lay the sweater down and smooth it out. Fold it in half making sure the side seams are meeting up. You'll need a knit skirt pattern for this tutorial and don't worry about that home slice, I got you covered. So here's a tutorial already up that you guys can check out here if you want to make the skirt pattern. Really quick side note, my pattern looks a little bit roughed up here because gelato has been trying to eat it. So lay the center front of the pattern onto the fold of your sweater. The bottom doesn't have to match up 100% because sweater hems will vary, but just do your best. Now cut along the waist and the side seams. The sweater hem will now be your new skirt hem. It's always better to sew smarter and not harder. So you just saved yourself a bunch of time from hemming your skirt and it's a cute detail at the bottom. Place right sides together and sew up both sides. I'm serging it so it's easier for me, but if you're sewing, sew on a number two stitch and try your best not to stretch when you sew. Next, take the waistband pattern and place it on the chest area of the sweater and cut it out. Note that even though the sweater is doubled with the front and back, we are only cutting on the front, leaving the back still intact. Fold the waistband in half and sew. Now fold the band in half so that the wrong sides are touching. This way you'll get a fold at the top and raw edges at the bottom. Turn the skirt on to its right side and place the raw edges of the waistband to the raw edge of the waist on the skirt. So there you go, a cute little knit skirt. There's still a lot of sweater left and that just means a lot of cotton going to waste. So I smooth out the sleeve and making sure the hem is nice and aligned. Then I popped my hand onto it and traced around the shape of my mittens. <laughs> Next, I cut around and not on the line and haloing it for seam allowance. Notice that I'm using the original hem for my mittens as well. Remember, always sew smarter and not harder. Use that same piece and pop it onto the other sleeve and cut out the pattern. Put them right sides together and sew all the way around. Again, try your best not to stretch it out when you sew and also sew on a number two stitch. Flip them inside out and now your phalanges are nice and toasty. So remember the back section that we left over from the waistband earlier? Well, that's still a lot of cotton left over. So we're going to trim it up and cut out a nice little rectangle from it. The wider the piece, the sloucher your hat will be, so work with your sweater. Fold the rectangle in half and sew up the side. With the plastic needle, I feed my yarn all the way around the top of the tube. If you don't have a needle, you can actually snip small holes to feed it through. Or just search for the hole in the knit with your fingers and just feed the yarn through. When you get back to the starting point, pull on both of the strings to tighten the tube. Pull as tight as you can and tie it shut. Now I feed the two strings through the middle of the tube and I pull it to the front of the hat. Next, I wrap the yarn around my hand a couple of times. And then I tie it with the two pieces of yarn that was fed through from earlier. Next, I snip all of the loops and it turns into a cute little pom-pom. So now we're going to use the neckline of the sweater to be the new band that goes around the bottom of the hat. Cut around the neckline, haloing the seam about half an inch to a quarter of an inch. With the hat on its right side, place the neckband over the hat aligning the raw edges. In most cases, the hat will be larger than the band. Just stretch the band to fit the hat and pin it into place before you sew all the way around. The trick is to sew onto the seam of the neckband so it looks like the band was made just for the hat. And there you go, a cute little beanie. So all you need is one sweater to create some awesome swagger for the cold weather. And the only thing you should take from this video is to sew smarter and not harder. So be creative you guys, have fun, and rock on fashionistas. Bye!